Welcome to Chem Whiteboard. Let's review and summarize the energetic favorability of reactions. During a chemical reaction, the reactants are transformed into products. If the products are more energetically stable than the reactants, in other words, reactants have higher potential energy than products, then the reaction is energetically product favored. These reactions are called exothermic reactions, as energy is released when you go from high potential energy reactants to low potential energy products. Thus, exothermic reactions will have a negative delta H. On the other hand, if the products are less energetically stable than the reactants, in other words, reactants have lower potential energy than products, then the reaction is energetically reactant favored. These reactions are called endothermic reactions, as energy is absorbed when you go from low potential energy reactants to high potential energy products. Thus, endothermic reactions will have a positive delta H. Let's consider a few examples to apply what we know. The reaction between sulfur and oxygen produces sulfur dioxide. In this example, both reactants and products have molecular compounds with covalent bonds. Here, all the covalent bonds on the reactant side are weaker AA bonds with higher potential energy. While, on the product side, we have stronger AB bonds with lower potential energy. Therefore, we can expect the products to be more energetically stable than the reactants. Thus, we can predict that this reaction is energetically product favored, in other words, exothermic, with a negative delta H value. Our next example is the reaction between carbon dioxide gas and hydrogen gas, producing methane gas and liquid water. Here, the reactants have a combination of stronger AB bonds and weaker AA bonds with higher potential energy, while all the bonds on the product side are stronger AB bonds with lower potential energy. Therefore, we can expect the products to be more energetically stable than the reactants. Thus, we can predict that this reaction is energetically product favored, in other words, exothermic, with a negative delta H value. Now let's consider the reaction between carbon monoxide and iron 3 oxide producing carbon dioxide gas and metallic iron. Here, on the reactant side, there are covalent and ionic bonds, while on the product side there are covalent and metallic bonds. In general, ionic bonds are the strongest with lowest potential energy. Therefore, we can expect the reactants to be more energetically stable than products. Thus, we can predict this reaction to be energetically reactant favored, or endothermic, with a positive delta H. Let's consider the reaction between lead sulfide and oxygen. Here the reaction produces lead oxide and sulfur dioxide gas. On both reactant and product sides, there are ionic compounds with stronger ionic bonds. Both ionic compounds, lead sulfide, and lead oxide, have a charge product of 4. However, the anion of lead oxide, the oxide anion, is smaller than the anion of lead sulfide, the sulfide ion. This makes the distance between the ions in lead oxide smaller than that in lead sulfide. Therefore, the ionic bond of lead oxide on the product side is stronger with lower potential energy than the ionic bond of lead sulfide on the reactant side. Thus, we can expect products to be more energetically stable than the reactants, making the reaction energetically product favored. Therefore, we can predict this reaction to be an exothermic reaction with a negative delta H. For our final example, let's consider the energetic favorability of a physical process, vaporization of liquid water into water vapor. Here on both sides of the process, we have the same substance in two different phases. Therefore, the covalent bond strength will not be useful as it will be approximately the same in both phases. However, in the liquid phase, particles are much closer to each other and have stronger intermolecular forces between the molecules compared to the gas phase. Therefore, we can expect the liquid water to be more energetically stable than water vapor. Thus, we can predict this process to be an endothermic process with a positive delta H. In summary, during a chemical reaction, if the products are more energetically stable than the reactants, the reaction is energetically product favored. These are exothermic reactions with a negative delta H value. On the other hand, if the reactants are more energetically stable than the products, the reaction is energetically reactant favored. 
These are endothermic reactions with a positive delta H value. I hope this video helped you review the energetic favorability of reactions. If you want me to review specific topics, leave suggestions in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.